Namaste, Yogi and Yoginis. Welcome once again to Yoga with Vic from this awkward side in the city of Bitola in North Macedonia. As you can see, I've got not only a wrecked plane, but a vandalized plane. I've got a couple of those here, but I just want to talk about your wings and your broken wings. Sometimes we have broken wings physically and emotionally, but there's always a way to heal them. So even with broken wings, you can still fly. So let's do that. Let's do all kind of weird shapes, not weird, but let's try and see what comes out and let's fly. Let's start in child's pose, just to connect with our breath. So go to the mat. We've got some spiky little things here. You know, you always see that in my flow, there's always little things coming out, sorry. Otherwise, I'm going to be weird. Anyway, if you don't have a spike things, you don't have to move them. Just go directly to Velasana Charles Pose. Your butt will go towards your heels. Extend your arms ahead of you. You can always position the forearms on the floor if that feels better. Or if your shoulders allow you and you want to have a really full stretch. You can also walk with your hands as far as they go towards the top of the mat. And expand the rib cage. Open the back of the lungs and bring the breath in there. Deep breath in. And you can let it go. <sighs> the mouth. Another one. You can hold it for a little bit. And <sighs> let it go. Inflate and feel the shoulder blades separating. Inhale, inhale. Feel that space in the rib cage in the back. <sighs> Let go. Take a few more breaths. Slow. Dear hip one. how you're landing because we're gonna take off in a minute get ready this is you and only you you and your mat you and your mind you and your breath you and your body all together and that's what yoga is about Okay, climb up to all fours. Shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. And we're going to start with a spinal balance. So we're going to extend the left leg behind us on your toes pointed. Sorry, not pointed, flex. So your toes on the floor. Extend your hand ahead of you. Like you're going to shake somebody's hand and lift both leg and arm. Take a couple of breaths. If you want to really activate, toes should be looking down. If you're still a bit lazy, or just still not ready, just you can point them. But if you can activate everything, that'll be really nice. Activate the glutes. And now knee to elbow for one. Extend for two. Extend again. And for three. Extend and from here we're gonna go to the awkward airplane, which is hand goes to the side and foot goes also to the side And here we are working a lot as you can feel the side of the side of abdominals the obliques and now we're gonna tap one up two and three and we go back to a sunbird and On the floor Awesome That feels really good Shall we do the other side? Okay. Right leg goes to the back. Hand goes to the front. Left this time. And we go up. Engaging glutes. Engaging thighs. Hamstrings. Calves. If your toes are looking down. And the core, of course. The core is always keeping all this together. And this shoulder also is doing some work. And now we're going to go for one, knee to elbow, extend again, two, extend, 
and three, working that core, engaging every single muscle of it. From here, left hand goes to the side, right toes go to a side two, this awkward airplane, two weird wings, and then tap, one, two, and the hip is also doing a lot of action, three. And come up, go back to a spinal twist, and go down. Perfect. That's the first bit. We're going to do a couple of cuts and cows. Cut, cow pulling the uh, belly down, inhaling, and exhale all the air out. Belly goes in, navel to the spine. Super angry cat, back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, expand your shoulder blades, scapula separating. Inhale, look ahead. Exhale. And belly goes towards the back. Inhale, and then tuck the tires, lift the hips, and let's go to downward dog. Let's pedal downward dog. Now that we're starting, push yourself away from the mat. So hips go not, so, not only high, but also towards the back. And if you don't reach with the heels, that's completely fine. We don't have to, but the emotion is going to that direction. Remember, shoulders are not clinging to the ears. Just relax the head. You can keep pedaling. And from here, we're gonna lift the right leg up to the sky and we're going to come to the right arm the right triceps the right elbow come up again and now we're going to go towards the left but we're going to go past the left extend the leg we can do fallen triangle or crash to a plane or you can lift if you fancy doing a little bit more ff for it or your body allows you to from here we inhale and we go up again exhale foot between the hands back foot flat and we come to warrior one. Feel that warrior one, back foot flat, ankle about 45 degrees, super strong thighs. The, the front one bent around 90 degrees, it doesn't have to be exact, you can be 90, it can be a little bit higher, and the hips going towards the front. From here, we're going to fly and go towards the front and expand the wings. And this is now our beautiful airplane. And we are flying, guys. Beautiful. Toes looking down for more strength. And then we're gonna do, the knee is gonna come to the back of the knee. So one, extend, two. Yes, a little bit of a push up here. And three, extend your wings, extend your tail and then come back to warrior one or to high lunge if you prefer, whatever works. And then we open to warrior two. And then from our warrior two, we're going to again expand our wings and fly away. How are we gonna do half moon? So we're gonna bring the right hand towards the floor, lift the leg, the back leg that is, and open, find that balance. It's gonna be fun when we do this fast, but you know, if we wobble, if there's turbulences, that's completely fine. And you can look down, you can look to the side, you can even look up if your balance allows it. Open the chest, keep those thighs super engaged, super strong. And then land in warrior two. From warrior two, we're gonna do a reverse warrior, inhaling and expanding. And then from here, we cut wheel go to the floor, we do a vinyasa, pass through Chaturanga Dandasana, upward dog or cobra, depending on how you feel, a bit of a back bend, because we haven't done any, and downward dog, and then left leg goes up, and we know what's coming next. Left leg goes to the left elbow, left arm. It goes up again, and now it goes towards the right. And remember, you can stay here, you can stand to fallen triangle with a foot on the floor, or you can lift it if your wings allow you. From here, we go up again, and then exhaling towards the front, again in warrior one, or if you prefer, 
you can do a high lunge and come up on your toes. Up to you, to your body, remember, is on neutral, neutral hips. And then from here, we're gonna fly to airplane and expand our wings. Toes looking down for more strength. And then one push up, extend the leg behind you. Second, knee to knee, expand. And the third one, and extend and fly away. Come back to worry one or high lunge, whatever works for you. And let's go to worry two. And from here, remember, we're gonna fly to the moon, that half moon. So hand goes towards the floor. You can use the block if you have one and it feels better. Leave the back leg and expand the chest opening. Oh, this feels intense, but it's so good. From here, we land slowly in warrior two. We reverse the warrior and cartwheel the hands going to the floor. Pass through Chaturanga Dandasana. Go directly to Downward Dog if you don't feel like doing the whole vinyasa. And we meet in Downward Dog. From here we bend the knees slightly and jump, walk or fly to the top of the mat. Flat back, bend, come up again, hands to the front. Oh. Come up, go down, feet to the back, and feet and knees to the floor. And then from here, we start all over again, and we're gonna flow it as, you know, one breath, one movement. Let's see how it goes. So we're gonna start with the left leg behind and the right hand on top, on top of, on, on the front. So inhale, expand to sunbird, exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, Sunbird again, spinal balance. Exhale, get your wings an awkward airplane. Inhale, tap on the floor. Exhale, come up. Inhale, sunbird, expand as much as you can. Exhale, go down to the floor. Inhale, the other side, right leg, left arm. Exhale, knee to elbow, elbow to knee. Inhale, expand, exhale. Find those really beautiful wings that you have. Inhale, tap, exhale, come up. That hips doing us some action. Inhale, expand, exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, those beautiful cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, and go to downward dog. Inhale, right leg goes up, exhale to the right arm. Inhale, right leg comes up again, exhale, passes the left. Expand either to the floor or to the air. Inhale, go up to the sky. Exhale, to the front. Warrior one or high lunge. Come up and let's expand and fly away. Inhale, tap both knees. Exhale, expand. Inhale, land. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Half moon, extend that back leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, come back and reverse warrior. Exhale, guard wheel the hands. Go to Chaturanga Dandasana or go directly to downward dog. And wait for me in there. We're going to go for the left leg and then it comes to the left arm. Goes up again and crosses all the way either to the floor or up in the air, flying. Inhale, comes up, exhale between the hands, go up if you're in warrior one or high lunge. Inhale, expand your wings and fly away. Come up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, half moon, let's fly sideways and do some pirouettes. Exhale. Come back to warrior two. Inhale, expand and reverse. Exhale, let's go. And I realized that I jumped the little push up. We'll do it again. And you'll have a chance to practice that one. And 
downward dog from here. Bend the knees, go to the front. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold and let it all hang. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, to the front. Inhale, come up. You can back bend a little bit. Exhale, go to the floor. Inhale, go to all fours. Exhale, take some breath. Inhale, right leg, sorry, left, right hand, left leg. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, expand to the front. Exhale, awkward airplane. Inhale, tap. Exhale, come up. Inhale, sunbird, expand as much as you can. Exhale, both knees and on the floor. Other side, right leg, left hand, and we join them together. Expand and get your wings ready. Crash land a little bit with one wing. Come up again. Expand to the floor, to the front and to the back and go down. Inhale, in cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, go up in downward dog. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, come up. Exhale, we pass the left arm, expand the wing, extend in the air or not. Inhale, come up. Exhale, between both hands, come up on your toes or your back foot flat, whatever works for you. And exhale. And we do the airplane. I'm not forgetting the push-up now. One push-up here and expand. And then we come back and work it too. From here, we go to half moon without falling. And if you fall, just stand up and land again. Exhaling, warrior two. Palm up, reverse your warrior. Cut wheel, go towards the floor, step back. You can go directly to downward dog or do some chaturanga, upward dog or cobra and tuck the toes and go back. And left leg comes up, goes towards the elbow or triceps. Come up again, three leg dog, pass the right arm, leave the right arm in the air or on the floor. Inhale, come up again, exhale. To the front on your toes or your back foot come up to where you want a high lunge expand your wings and fly away one push up knee to knee extend inhale come back exhale warrior two inhale bring the warrior to the back expand those ribs exhale cartwheel go to the floor Go through the vinyasa with very strong arms. Your cobra or up dog, whatever you are, is your choice. Tight the toes and go to downward dog. And from here, oh, this felt good. And I'm sure you did not <laughs> notice the, the lack of the push up on the second series. You're like, it's okay, you can skip it. Okay, let's expand. Those wings open up. Take a couple of breaths. Oh, this feels good. And now we're gonna go to all fours. And those wings that, that we've expanded, we're going to work a little bit more on the shoulders. So bring the right hand up. And beautiful twist. And then bring it down through the arm and the leg, so thread the needle, and you can just give yourself a little bit of a shoulder love. You can leave the left hand in front of your face. You can expand it ahead of you if you want, if you want more expansion on the shoulder. And if you want an opening of the shoulder, you can bring it to the back, and you can even grab the thigh if that works. For me, some days it works, some days it's not funny, so your body, your choice, whatever you feel like today. I'm giving some love to the shoulders too, to our beautiful wings. Okay, come back again, expand your wing up to the sky, 
bring it in front of your face. If it wasn't there, come up again. That beautiful twist. Ah, oh, hello sky. Reaching up and hand goes down. Come up with the left hand, reach as high as you can, grasping. Hello. I'm here with this a lot of clouds today, which is nice. I'm thankful for that, even though I'm feeling some drops. And eh, go through the needle. Temple goes to the floor. If you don't reach, please use a, a cushion, a block, whatever you have. And again, this hand can go in front of your face, the right one. It can come behind you, if that's a good idea. Ah, oh, yeah, my yin clothes are working. My shoulders are getting back again into track, in track, which is great. Because, uh, yeah, they've been feeling a bit awkward lately. So if you do have some kind of injury, it's not even an injury, I don't have an injury. It's just that they felt really stiff. And that's uh, beautiful. And, you know, the age we're going through and all the changes. But if you work it, if you keep mobilizing, it will work out. Okay, expand the wing again to the sky. Bring the, fa the, the face, the face to the hand, the hand to the face. And expand your wing again to the sky. And go to the floor. Awesome, we're gonna do a bit of a back bend because we did a few cobras and abdocks, and abdocks but not too many today. So we're gonna do a little bit of camel. Bring your heels up. The right hand goes up to the sky and it comes to the right heel. And you can stay here. And if it doesn't work, just come. You can just put both hands on top of your cheekies, your bum cheeks, and just push the hips a little bit forward. If that's good, just do it. Just enjoy it. If you think, okay, I can do this half camel, great. If you think, oh, I can do half camel, I can bring my left hand also to the left heel. That's also good. Look ahead, don't hang your neck, especially if you don't have a very healthy neck, but in any case, it doesn't feel very comfortable, even for the throat. There's some types of yoga, they do that, and some exercises, which is fine. But we're opening the chest, opening the shoulders. It is raining, it feels really good. Okay, come up. Right hand, left hand, left hand, right hand. It doesn't really matter, hands to the center. They're going to do a little bit of more of the thigh work, quadriceps. I know we did some, but never enough. We worked a lot on our wings and expanding, but we're going to also work on our beautiful roots, on our beautiful legs. So let's go towards the back, expanding, and bringing the hands up ahead of us. Two. Shall we do ten? Three. Keep your body very straight. Four, five, come on, only five more. And those strong legs are gonna really show up later. Six, I think, did I get lost? Seven, eight, only two more. Come on, try to go a little bit towards the back. A little bit lower, 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 lower. Nine, Ooh, that burns. And, 10. Awesome. Oh, let's sit down. Let's give a bit of a stretch. Actually, I'm going to put the leg just bent and we're going to go up and we're going to go down. Let's see how far you can get. Not much because you've got a leg that is not working there. I mean, not working is not allowing you to really go down unless you're super flexible. And then from here, we're going to go towards the back. You can be on your elbows, on your hands, or you can lay all the way down. For me, it doesn't work, so I'm not going all the way down. No, it's raining. I don't know if the camera's going to get wet and you have a drop in the middle of the flow but it feels really good okay let's come up again extend the right leg give it a bit of a shake bring the left leg just folded both thighs together but inner thighs kind of magnetized 
we're going to go up and let's see what happens when we go to the front. It's a bit awkward, but there's still a stretch on the front leg. So we're stretching the back of the thigh, the hamstrings and the calf. And now we're going to come either to our hands, to our elbows. You can also put a bolster if you have one, or even to our backs. See, for me, there's one kind, this, this side works, the other one doesn't. So we are all so asymmetrical, so different, so unique. Our body's a piece of art. Oh, big stretch of the quadriceps that we've been working. Oh, this feels so good. Okay, come up if you're down or just come to the center. Extend both legs ahead of you. Give yourself a bit of a shake. Oh, wobbly, 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 wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And let's go to the back. Let's cross one leg on top of each other. I'm going to, I'm doing the right over the left now. Expand your wings again and go to the right. Oh, clack, clack, clack. I love my vertebrae when they crack. Gently and nicely. Okay, come back to the center. Change the crossings, the left leg over right, and let's go to the left. And looking right. Oh, yes. Glue the shoulders to the floor as much as you can. Come back to the center and cross the legs. Give yourself a massive hug because you deserve it all the time. And if you don't have anyone around to hug you at this moment, hug yourself or later. Just keep hugging yourself. Take a big inhale, a little bit more, sip a bit more air. Ah, let go. And let's go to Shavasana. Oh, that feels good. We just landed safely in our mad airport after this beautiful flight. Maybe some turbulences, maybe some pirouettes, maybe it was puffing a little bit, but we landed safely. We're back home. So relax, make the most of this moment. Relax your face, your jaw, your forehead, your eyes, and clench everything. Shoulders heavy on the floor, belly just expanding naturally. Thighs heavy. Enjoy this moment. Hope you can hear the birds chirping. Mine or yours? And whenever you're ready, which can be now or in five minutes, you can start wiggling your toes, your fingers. You can stretch yourself. Make yourself a big elongation of the whole body. Make yourself super long. And from here, you can turn to one side or the other side, whichever is your favorite today. Or you can make yourself a little ball and rock and roll yourself to the front. Come to a cross leg position. Bow your chin, hands to heart, in a prayer position. Let's be grateful for those beautiful wings that we have that makes us fly. No matter how broken they are sometimes, or they feel broken, we can always fix them. We can always expand them. And the sky is the limit, and that's where we're heading. We're heading to really conquer the skies, no matter where you are, no matter what you want to do, just conquer everything you have to. Thank you so much again for being with me today. Always a pleasure and an honor. See you very shortly. Namaste. <laughs>